Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. So today on the menu, we'll be making a very tasty and delicious chicken and yam pepper soup recipe. So if you'd like to see how I made this, then please stay tuned and let me introduce you to the ingredients. All right guys, so to begin, I'll start by introducing the two stars of this recipe, which is our yam and chicken. So here with me, I've got my yam already peeled, cut and washed. In here I have my chicken already cut up and washed as well. So for the rest of my ingredients I have one scotch bonnet pepper, one red long sweet pepper and one um, long yellow pepper. Now these two peppers here are not spicy. The only spicy pepper here is um, this um, scotch bonnet pepper. And I don't want to use uh, more than one because of my kids because I don't want to make it too spicy but however you can add more um, scotch bonnet pepper to yours if you prefer. In here I have one medium sized onion bulb, three cloves of garlic and about one root of ginger. Here with me I have a tablespoon of blended pepper soup spice and this is a combination of a uda and uziza seeds. In here I have one tablespoon of blended crayfish. In here I have some frozen scent leaves. So because my scent leaves are not fresh, I'm also going to be adding in some parsley, you know, for that fresh um, <laughs> greenish look. And you can also use basil leaves. Basil leaves is what we call curry leaves in Nigeria, but if your scent leaves is fresh, you can just use your um, scent leaves. And lastly, I've got some salt to taste and two chicken seasoning cubes. Okay guys, so the chicken has been carefully transferred to the pot. So to that, I'm going to be adding in two chicken seasoning cubes. Ooh. Next, I'm going to add in some salt to taste. And this is all I'll be adding at this point. I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to allow this to steam with the moisture in it for about 10 to 12 minutes. I'm not going to be adding water. So while the chicken is cooking, I'll come over here and blend my peppers, onion, ginger, and garlic. So I'm going to start by throwing my ginger and garlic to the blender, my scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going to be blending the onions because I don't like to see chunks of onion while having my pepper soup. But if you don't mind, you can just um, chop yours up. I like to have the taste, <laughs> but I don't like to see onion when having my pepper soup, so I'm going to blend it up. I'm going to cut the peppers in order to have the blades of my blender. So now that I have everything in the blender, I'm just going to blend this up and set aside. Okay, so this has been cooking for 10 minutes now. I'm going to give it a stir. So now I'm going to be adding in the pepper soup spice so that the chicken can start absorbing the flavor. Add that in. I'll add in my blended crayfish. I'm also going to be adding in the scent leaf. Since mine is not fresh, I'm going to add it at this point, but if yours is fresh, you can just wait and add it at the end of the cooking. So 
So next I'm going to add in some water. Okay, so I'm going to be adding in more water and I won't be adding my pepper blend at this point. I'm going to cover this up and let it cook for additional 15 minutes. Okay guys, so I have my yam in another separate pot. I'm going to be cooking the yam separately because I don't want my pepper soup water to be um, thick. <laughs> I don't want my pepper soup water to be thick at the end of the cooking like open salad. Yeah, so I'm going to be cooking my yam separately. And later I'm going to be transferring it back to the pepper soup um, pot. Yeah, um, for this yam to be fully cooked, it should take about... 10 to 12 minutes thereabout but I'm not going to be cooking this yam fully I'm going to be cooking them for like let's say five to six minutes and by that time all the starchy water must have released inside this very water you know instead of releasing inside the pepper soup pot and at the end of the cooking your pepper soup water will be very thick okay so I'm going to season this now with a little bit of salt and I'll put it on the stove to cook my chicken is about 80% cooked. Now, before you begin to cook this, you have to make sure your chicken is almost cooked. Otherwise, you're going to end up um, overcooking the yam. So I'm going to add in a little bit of salt, not too much. And I'll send it to the cooker. I'm going to cover this up now and once it starts boiling, I will let it cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. So at this point, I'll be adding in my blended pepper mixture and I forgot to mention earlier, the two um, long peppers I showed earlier is optional. You can add only just um, the scotch bonnet pepper if you prefer. I'm going to be adding some water to rinse out the blender. I'm going to be testing for seasoning and if it is okay then I will proceed to add in my pre-cooked yam. And you don't have to cook yours um, separately like I did, like cooking the chicken and the yam separately. You can cook the chicken together with the yam if that's what you prefer. But like I said earlier, I don't want the, um, the soup water to be, you know, um, thick. Um, after the cooking process, I want mine to be very light. Okay, so my seasoning was perfect and at this point, I'll be transferring the yams to the pepper soup pot and I will let it cook down for additional 5 minutes and then I'll add in my parsley. Yeah, so right now, I'm going to go ahead and add in my parsley. I don't know if I'll be adding everything. It seems a bit too much. I'm going to stir this one in. Okay, let me stir with a wooden spoon. Yeah, we are done cooking. I'm going to turn off the heat. So guys, this is the end result of our chicken and yam pepper soup recipe and it tasted so delicious. I hope you all give this recipe a try and if you like the video, please be sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I want to say a big thank you to you all for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!